Hello, everyone. This is the presentation from Team Six Point Star. Our topic is Diversified Community for Human Land Health and Sustainability. My presentation today will be divided into five different parts the background information, the problem statement, literature review, methodology, and the principles and strategies. Firstly, let's come to the first. The first part, the background information about our research. As we know, sustainable community which emphasize on the efficient use of urban space, are minimizing the consumption of essential neutral capital, are multiplying social capital and are mobilizing citizens and their governments toward these ends is regarded as an approach to achieve the Sustainable Development Goal 11 of the United Nations. For that, many countries have taken steps to build up sustainable communities. On September 22nd of the year 2020, the Chinese President Xi Jinping announced that China aims to peak its carbon emission before the year 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality before the year 2060. It's a long-term target, which can be divided into three different steps. The first step requires community to be cleaner, healthier, and less expensive. After that, the community need to have great accessibility and cohesion. Finally, the communities will realize, realize the aim of being more self-reliant in energy, food, and economic security. So this research identified the problem faced by all Chinese communities firstly, then carry out analysis about what specific function or kind of community. In considering human, land, as well as harmonious development of human and land, these three different aspects could solve the existing problems. Finally, a diversified community for human land health and suggested, was suggested. Then the second part, the problem statement. During the research, we found there are several problems faced by the Chinese old communities, but there are four problems are very outstanding. The first one is age structure imbalance. The second one is the contradiction before man, between man and land. And then the lack of communication in the neighborhood. Finally, is the insufficient community function. So our research objective will be done from three aspects, the human, the land, as well as the harmonious development of a human and land. So in order to do that, we have to find out the solution or the answer to the two questions. The first is what kind of community park do we need? And the second is how do we build a multifunctional community park, community park for human land health? Bring these two questions, let's come to the third part, literature review. In this part, we found that increased urbanization and uh, densification is widespread tendency in cities. And the people who live in such high density residential area are under great pressure and have a strong de desire for green open spaces, which lead to the appearance of a community park. For the community, when we talk about the community park, it's similar to the concept of pocket park, which was first proposed by Robert Zone to deal with the deficiency of urban parks in densely popul populated city centers. And also there are various terms used to describe this kind of park, such as small, small urban park, mini park, pocket park, or vast pocket park. It's strong that researcher, researchers into this field primarily fall into the following categories. Most of the researchers emphasize on function of the community or on the designing of the community. And also there are some focused on the use and the benefit of the community. But according to that, we found there is a research gap for us. The demographic function, the demographic features of the community close to the park have seldom been considered in this research. But it's meaningful because 
Only if we have a better understanding of the demographic structure of the community can the community park close to it be properly and effectively designed so as to better satisfy the needs of the park users in the community. Then the fourth part, the methodology. In our research, we use qualitative research and quantitative research to get together to adjust the two issues and to showcase the construction of a multi-purpose community park. For human land health, the researchers will employ the following methods. First, the case study. A typical community with a small public park will be studied with a focus on the analysis of the local residents' use of the community park. And then the questionnaire. We will design a questionnaire consisting of 22 short and simple questions and it will be divided into four different sections based on the questionnaire. Then we will do the work law interview. The content of the interview will be based on the questionnaire we have, I have mentioned before. And then we come to the end of this presentation, the five part, the principles and the strategies for our research for the problems. The first principle is the microspace for healthy communities principles. It's a healthy orientation, overall coordination and public participation. And then the strategies, we call it healthy physical space building strategies. These strategies integrated planning for health promotion and also create an environment for enhancing communication. That's all about my presentation today. And finally, I really want to thank for my members, my team members, thanks for their cooperation and thanks for your listening. Best wishes to all of you. See you again.